There's been opposition to the nomination of Nosivi Mapisa Ngakula as the next Speaker of the National Assembly. Some opposition parties say they won't participate in Thursday's process to elect her as Speaker. The ANC nominated Mapisa Ngakula to take over from Tandi Modisa, who's moving to Cabinet. Some opposition parties are now calling for a secret ballot. Other concerned groups outside of Parliament have, uh, started, have stated, in fact, that she's not fit to hold that role. Joining me now is attorney Eric Mabuza, who's representing uh, some of those that are opposing the nomination of Nosivio Mapisa Ngakula uh, to take over from Tandi Monise. Mr. Mabuza, thank you so much uh, for making time. Let's start with who you are representing. Good afternoon, Clement, and thank you for, for inviting me. Uh, you would have seen from, from the letter that uh, we sent to Parliament that we are representing a a group of uh, private individuals who are led by uh, Dr. J.J. Taban and Lukona uh, Mgun, as well as the nation, uh, New Nation uh, Movement. So they are taking uh, upon themselves to, to make sure that uh, Parliament acts in a way that is rational and also satisfies the, the aspirations of, of the country. Mm. I, I see in, in your letter to, to, to Parliament you indicate uh, that the decision to, to nominate Nosivio Mapisa Ngakula was Im reportedly imposed on the members of the ANC caucus by, among others, Mr. Gwede Mantasha in his capacity as the national chairperson of the ANC and member of its so-called top six. Some may argue this is a pure democratic process in that the ANC has every right to nominate um, any of its members uh, to take over as, as a speaker of parliament like they would in any other role in whether it's government or, or, the, le or the legislature? You're quite correct, Clement, but you also remember that uh, our democracy, uh, it's a constitutional democracy. Part of that is that the decisions that are taken, whether by the executive or by parliament or members of parliament, they must always be rational. In other words, there must be some uh, uh, justification for, for those decisions. It's not a question of just uh, the numbers, that uh, members of the ANC have the numbers to elect the, the, a, a, a speaker. Those decisions must, must show that in the light of the given facts, they are still justified. We know the, the facts that are out there in the public domain. For instance, we know that the, the president has recently uh, released uh, uh, Madam uh, Mapisa Nakula from a position as a former cabinet uh, uh, minister. And we also know that there is a, a joint standing uh, committee of defense that wants to, to institute a, an investigation or a hearing relating to, to, to a conduct, as well as previous uh, allegations of... Uh, misuse of public funds that are out there in the public. So the question is that in the light of this known fact, is it a rational decision to, to put someone like uh, Madam uh, Mapisa Ngakula to a, a very, very senior position in, in, our, uh, in our sphere of government? You remember that uh, if, if she's elected speaker, she will be the, the, the head of the third arm of government being the, the legislature. So it's quite a serious matter. I mean, our clients have not taken the decision lightly. I mean, these are private citizens who, who have said to themselves, no, the, the, the parliament must be held to, to account for, for the decision to, to nominate uh, Madame Apisa Ngakula to that position. So it's a, it's a very, very uh, delicate matter that, uh, that must be handled properly. I mean, the role of our clients is to bring this fact to, to members of parliament so that they should reflect on the issues that are, are raised in the letter and, and pause and, and, and make a, a decision that is in the best interest of, of yeah. the country. I mean, our clients are saying it's, it's not enough for them to, to speak on, on their platforms. You know, their media, uh, their, their public uh, uh, persons who have a profile in the media, they they've decided that it's not enough for them to simply uh, raise objections in their platforms. Yeah. They must do something concrete to, to challenge the decision and to, to make sure that parliament is accountable. You, you know that our democracy does not only belong to, 
to the political parties. In fact, it belongs to everyone, the citizens, you, me, and uh, yeah, everyone. Yeah. We have that right. To yeah, but I think... Our, yeah, and I think, I mean, we've got a political system now, and I mean, you're right, we're always talking about how uh, parliamentarians actually represent us as South Africans, and they mustn't uh, say that their allegiance is to a political party, even though through political processes they are in parliament because of those political parties. But the reality, Mr. Mabuza, is as things stand now, our political system allows for Mapisa Ngakula to be, a, to be nominated by the ANC. I know you've mentioned that there are some allegations that are out there, but they haven't been tested yet. So what I'm asking is how sound really is the legal argument and how confident are you that it's strong enough to hold, you know, given that you can maybe appeal to political parties in parliament not to vote in support of this nomination. The EFF has already indicated that it's not going to participate. I know the ANC is the majority, but how far can you go? How sound and strong is your legal argument here? But remember, what we are doing is we are not waiting for parliament to take a decision. We are bringing these facts to the parliamentarians before they exercise their vote. In other words, we are participating in that process and putting facts that some of them may or may not be known to them, so that they reflect on these issues, so, so that whenever they vote, they know that uh, there are citizens and there are people outside of parliament who are concerned about the impending decision to, to nominate and appoint uh, Madam uh, Mapisa Ngakula into that very, very powerful position within our sphere of, of, of yeah. uh, democracy. So we are, we are not waiting for... For the decision to happen, we are it's part of influencing that decision. Yeah, but you've indicated in your in your letter that a failure to act as aforesaid may result in our clients approaching the court for appropriate relief, which is why I'm asking about the legal case. If she is in fact uh, uh, elected as the speaker tomorrow. Uh, we've actually just found that uh, Judge Lope will be presiding over Parliament tomorrow uh, as members of Parliament vote uh, in support or against Nosivuya Mapisa's no nomination. If that goes ahead and she is elected, what relief would you seek in the court? And what would actually be the basis of your argument? In fact, Clement, what we should do, we should see this whole process as part of strengthening our democracy. That we, uh, my clients as private citizens, put up facts before parliament. Members of parliament have to deliberate on the issue based on the facts that have been placed before them by our clients. And whatever decision, you must also remember, Clement, that uh, in terms of our, of our democracy and, and and jurisprudence. Members of parliament, when they exercise their vote, they exercise their vote based on their conscience, not on their allegiance to political parties. So those are the issues that uh, we are raising, that members of parliament who, who want to vote on this matter must exercise their individual uh, uh, conscious decision mm. whether or not they, they think themselves as an individual, not as a member of the, of the ANC or member of ANC caucus, whether as individuals, given the facts that have been disclosed to them, do they still believe that Madame Mapisa Ngakula is a fit and proper person to occupy that position? So that is what my clients are appealing to those members of uh, parliament, to take all these facts into account. In fact, if anything, my client should be uh, congratulated for taking this bold step yeah. out of their own conscience and out of their sense of duty to the country to put facts before our parliament so that uh, members of parliament can reflect on this important matter. Yeah, fact, and, what, well, the yeah. other interesting factor, Clement, you asked me whether we're going to call the other yes. interesting factor, if the matter, and we hope it doesn't get to that, if the matter goes to court, one of the issues that may have to arise is to understand what prompted the president to release Madame Mapisa Ngakula from her previous position as cabinet minister. Those are the issues that may arise in any court action.
Yeah, and the question is, will that stand? Because it's the prerogative of the president uh, to release or deploy uh, people into his, his cabinet. Um, you know, I, I know the DA has tried to approach the courts in the past to get uh, president, the former president, Jacob Zuma, to explain uh, some of his reasonings. But, I mean, is, is there a legal basis to force the president, so to speak, to tell you why he's moved Zizi Kotwa here, why he's moved... No severe map is and cola here. A case, you know, part uh, part of our legal jurisprudence and, and constitutional democracy is that anyone who exercises exercises public power has an obligation to justify their decisions publicly. So it's not a a secretive okay. uh, form of governance that we are under. It's uh, it must be justified rationally based on the facts that are before the decision maker, including the, the executive, the president. So that's what uh, our courts have told us. They've told us in Uganda, they've told us in a, a secret ballot decision. So that whatever decision is taken by uh, the executive, by by anybody who exercises public power, must be justified publicly, openly in a democratic society, so that we as members of the public can critique those decisions often. Okay, thank you for, for making time, uh, Mr. Eric Mabuza. It will be interesting to see how this uh, unfolds. Let's see what happens tomorrow in Parliament. Uh, Judge Thlope will be presiding um, over the election of Speaker. Nosivio Mapisa Ngakula is the nominee for the African National Congress.